So, my name is Mike Mone. I'm a senior technology manager with Kingston's TRG Group. Uh, basically, what I do is I do this kind of stuff. I build uh, demo systems and I come out and I train and talk about um, our different SSD product line uh, as well as our memory product line. Uh, what we're showing off here today is uh, just a cursory look at our um, different product offerings, starting from the top there with our HyperX SSD now. Uh, this is our bleeding edge top end performer using the Sandforce 2281 controller. Combined with Intel's Compute NAND, that's the 5K synchronous NAND, we offer a five-year warranty on that guy, um, and we guarantee that um, you can handle about 30 gigabytes of writes per day for five years minimum, so it really can take a beating. Uh, the sister drive to the HyperX is the KC100. Same internal, same specs. The difference between these two drives is this one is tuned for business applications and this is tuned for gaming. Uh, the business uh, application we had has Dura-class technology from Sandfors for write amplification and redundancy built into the NAND, um, as well as some enterprise attributes for monitoring the health. It also has an encryption engine in it, 256 plus uh, 128-bit AES. Both of these drives do about 555 megabytes per second on a read, uh, and then 510 on a write. So very good performance, SATA 6 gigabit. Below that would be our newest um, entry-level drive called the V200. This replaces the V100, recently discontinued. This launched in the November time frame. It now supports SATA 6 gigabit. Uh, we use asynchronous 3K NAND on that, and I believe we're using Toshiba NAND and um, JMicron controller. Uh, pretty good on reads and writes, far outperforms a uh, uh, traditional hard drive, and we're seeing them um, retail for about a dollar a gigabyte. So we're finally hitting that price point our customers have been looking for. Coming soon, there will be a drive sandwich between these two, and it's the uh, replacement drive for our V Plus 100 series. That's the enhanced performance consumer drive, and it's called, of course, the V Plus 200. Uh, that will be using a Sandforce controller with asynchronous NAND 3K, and it's going to be a nice price point in between these two with uh, enhanced performance for somebody who's looking for a little bit more than your entry-level SSD, get a little bit faster response time from the system and higher IOPS. On the bottom there is the S50, that's our industrial or blue class family. Um, so uh, you're able to get this drive either in the two and a half inch um, case or caseless where it's half the um, PCB length right there. That would be perfect for an industrial application where you can mount it into a, a set-top box, or a kiosk or something like that um, that takes the SATA interface and you want solid state for the durability and the high performance. Or you can use it in its traditional sense as a boot drive. Put your operating system on it and um, use that for high, uh, high boot ups, high response times and quick uh, shutdowns and then put all your other media on terabyte drives. Next in the family is this little guy up here. That's our MS100, the mini SATA um, form factor. It's our 64 gig we're demonstrating. And those little guys can be used inside of Ultrabooks or tablets or even Intel's uh, Z68 motherboards. The Z68 board has a socket for the uh, mini SATA. You plug that in there and you're able to turn on Intel's um, smart response technology using the RST. And uh, you can use that for caching of a hard drive. Uh, very intelligent system, you mate that with uh, in a RAID mode and it will start caching your operating system or your, your frequently accessed uh, data and respond with solid state technology. And it's, it's going to come in 64 gigabyte or is there any it other sizes? It is 64 right there. Yeah. I think we're looking at a 128, I'm not sure if that's been offered just yet. Right. It's available, yeah, not available yet. But 64 definitely released on the oh, Absolutely, it's available. And this little guy has been sampled across the ODM, so for everyone's got one of those now looking at their Ultrabook offerings, seeing if they're going to plug those in um, from Kingston. We're also working on any customized form factors using Kingston's embedded division. Oh, okay. Thanks a lot.